I'm Scott Allen Miller and this is my daily vlog for the 27th of February 2022. Welcome to the Parque Galicia on the southeast corner of La Borillo in Leon, Nicaragua. It is a really nice morning. I'm recording this on the morning of the 28th actually because the power is out for the longest duration, uh, which is only like 30 minutes, uh, that we've had since we've lived here and it gave me a chance to jump away from my computer, not do some work, and run out and film the daily update. So that's where I am and why I'm filming now. I don't normally get to come out in the morning, so I actually really like this. It gives me a chance to walk around. I'm gonna do a couple of videos this morning. I think, luckily, I have a lot of batteries ready to go for the GoPro, so there's no worry of running out of power. So as long as the power is out, I will do my best to keep filming. And I have an awful lot of SD cards. So we're prepared for this kind of eventuality. This is sort of Perfect. Anyway, today, the 27th, it is Sunday, and of course, like the last several days, we are all glued to the news, watching all the events unfolding in Ukraine and worrying about our friends there and what's happening to our old home in Kiev. Uh, it's very concerning, but things also seem to be going well, so we are hopeful that uh, friends and uh, everyone there uh, will be okay and that uh, good results will happen but very scary and stuff that we're extremely concerned about, obviously. Uh, this morning I started off with some cafe at Cafe Molino, one of my favorite places to go, a little bit on the expensive side, but sometimes you have to just treat yourself. Uh, so got cappuccino, oh, so good, and uh, the smoked salmon uh, avocado toast, which is just fantastic. Uh, I am planning on starting to add some photography into this channel because I do a lot of photo walks and just photos everywhere, and I think uh, you guys miss some stuff if I never show it here. Yes, you can go to my Flickr feed and see photos of just about everything, but you miss some stuff if, uh, if I don't show them here, and why not? So I'm gonna try to start adding that in, especially now as we're doing more editing, more music, just more everything. And by the way, I did get uh, the notes that the music was a little bit loud in the past episode, so we're gonna try toning it down. We were about negative 13 decibels. We're gonna try going down to about negative 16, see if that makes it better. I like having the music in here. It's very cool. We're getting it from Artlist, by the way, artlist.io. Um, they seem really cool. I'm really enjoying using that service. I like the music that we're finding. Uh, seems to be a really good selection, so gonna be uh, checking that out more and more as time goes by. I've got lots of projects I wanna use it with, so I was kinda giving it a trial run with just like a little personal subscription for this channel uh, the last couple weeks, but I'm very happy with it, so I told them I just wanna switch to the professional annual uh, unlimited use thing, and they're like, let's do it. So getting that upgraded, and so you'll see this music appearing on other channels as well, or music from the service at least. Um, this afternoon, early this afternoon, I took a long walk from the southern edge of uh, Barrio Guadalupe at the, uh, gas, the gas station in, um, on the main road coming in from Matagalpa. Walked from there all the way through the big Ruben Dario Park, the one with all the lions. It was a beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous day. I wish I could have carried a camera and done a lot of photography, but I was just with the phone. It was very hot. Uh, it would have been a bit much to be carrying a camera. Today is quite nice because we're, we're quite overcast. This is gorgeous. And uh, walked all the way through the Barrio Guadalupe, which is really cool because there's some neat parts of the neighborhood. It's a really cool area. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot. It was, it was definitely a nice walk. Um, and it's amazing how close that gas station actually is to our house in La Borillo. It's, it's an easy walk and I actually, the walk brings me right up here past uh, this street by the park because uh, this is the bottom corner of La Borillo where it touches Guadalupe. Uh, so that was a cool walk. It's the first time I ever walked that park. Uh, got some cool photographs there, really liked it. Uh, and, and that was kind of my afternoon. So I got my steps in for the day doing that instead of doing a regular photo walk. And uh, when I do walk with the camera, I'm much more likely, or with my phone, I'm sorry, as my camera, much more likely to get selfies as opposed to filming the environment and getting street photography. So I got a few of those. Um, this afternoon, very relaxed. It's Sunday, so did some video work, watched some things, hung out with the kids, got the kids set up so they can play Stardew Valley together. They've been wanting to do that for a while, so they are doing that now. Uh, for those who don't know, Stardew Valley is this video game that's it's kind of got an RPG flair, but there's a lot of farming and stuff in it, uh, which is, it's pretty cool. It's got like resource management and growth and a deep story, lots of strategy. It actually takes a lot of work. It's a very um, simple looking game with a lot of, 
depth to it. Uh, and they've played that for years. I remember Liesl started playing that uh, on my old, old HP, the one that we took to Europe in 2012, uh, back when we were in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, kicking off major projects with a customer down there um, on the trip where we lived in the hotel there for a few weeks and we went to the um, Atlanta uh, aquarium and all that stuff that was it's hard to believe that was so many years ago it feels pretty recent that was probably 2017 so five years ago I should point out there's someone in the park just staring at me the entire time that I'm doing the video today it's a little bit disconcerting because uh, <laughs> mostly it's empty but one person on a park bench who I think I woke up uh, uh, so this evening we decided uh, Paul's not made it to Food Rock Ave yet we wanted to go out there and see it and support them because we haven't been in a while we missed the pizza so uh, we went up there paul took his scooter but it's close enough it's quite a bit closer than via via i walked to via via dominica won't walk there but food rock ave is so close it's about one one and a half blocks farther than la colonia uh, the grocery store that we go to and so uh dominica and i walked to um uh walked to food rock ave and uh, joined Paul there and we got uh, pizza. He got a steak and did all the stuff off of the grill, tried out some new food there. Everybody really liked their food. Uh, and we tried to get there on the early side, about five o'clock, a little bit after, uh, so that we would be able to finish eating before they started their evening movie. They're doing Encanto by Disney this evening. And uh, every Sunday they do a movie. On Friday they do pre-recorded concerts. On Saturdays they do live music. On Sundays they show a movie, like a projector on the back wall. It's pretty cool. Uh, they had a good crowd. We're very, uh, very impressed with that. So did that. It was good. Dinner was great. Paul really liked it. It's nice that it's so walkable that Dominica's like, yeah, of course I'm going to walk. Is really cool. Uh, gives us some places that we can go on foot. Really makes the city so much more ours when you're able to go everywhere on foot. Also today, today's the first like real day. We were open yesterday and it did well. Today was our first real day of having uh, the hotel fully open with the new restaurant space. And they used not only they, I don't think they filled in the beach. We only have so many tables. I'm gonna wait for this Coca-Cola truck to go by. We'll just grab him here, there he is. And uh, uh, we only have so many tables, but we apparently filled the new restaurant and they had to start putting tables inside the building uh, to, to handle more people there. We had a group of like 40 people came as a single group uh, and used that side. So they kept sending us pictures from the beach, like, look how busy we are, this is crazy. So we had a lot of people in there. Very cool for our opening weekend and everybody on the beach keeps telling us that we are the talk of the town. Everybody is talking about the expansion. We're the only you know business that's actually expanding. Um, obviously, Puesta del Sol did put in um, some new stuff, but it's very quiet. We haven't seen anybody use their new stuff yet. Uh, but for us, this is, this is huge expansion on the beach, new stuff, and there's more coming, right? We haven't opened the bar yet. We're just opening the seating and already so much is going on. So much is going on that we made, we pulled the trigger that in two days, I believe, we are closing the restaurant almost entirely so that we can gut and rebuild the kitchen. We have to have more capacity and we have to have it right away. So new ovens, fryers, all kinds of grill and stuff, all going in, redesigned. It's gotta be ready for real volume real fast so that is that's going on as well this week it's a busy week uh we actually got a note later from our lead attorney that she was actually um a tourist with a tour group in the group of 40 people who are at the at the new space so we got some information she sent us pictures and was like oh they were so great they treated us great the food was awesome we had a really nice time the facility's beautiful she kept saying it's so beautiful it's so beautiful uh so that was really cool we had no idea she was there uh and didn't find out until actually the next morning until the day that I'm recording this. So very excited about that, that we got some real feedback and our attorneys would certainly be like, if there was a problem, they would tell us because they're part of the team um, and have been working with us for a year now. So uh, they really know us and, and know they can provide feedback. But very cool because she's not from the beach. She's not from Leon, she's from Managua. So this big group came from Managua and we're using the hotel uh, on its opening day. So this is just crazy that it worked out that well. So that was our day. Um, for the most part, it was pretty chill, did some fun stuff and uh, really enjoyed ourselves. And uh, tomorrow is Monday. Uh, we have regular work um, doing uh, beginning on Monday. Tomorrow is going to be investigation of bakeries around Leon, which sounds like just a fun personal project, but we actually need a really good 
bakery partner for supplying our restaurants. And so we're, we're doing that to figure out uh, who's best because our current supply chain just is not meeting our needs. Uh, and I've been very unhappy with um, the resulting quality of the, the bread just as it ends up, not the starting quality, not the price, none of that, just the end result is not what I'm looking for. And so um, we're pushing to, to sample everything they have in Leon and figure out what's gonna be the best approach for us as we expand and really need to uh, continue to just up our game across the board, uh, which is such a big deal considering what we're doing. All right, that's it for today on Sunday, the 27th of February, 2022. I will see all of you tomorrow.